The EU is working to strengthen the various data sharing mechanisms to promote the availability of data that can be used to implement applications and advanced solutions in the fields of artificial intelligence, personalized medicine, green mobility, smart manufacturing and many other areas. Member States agreed on a negotiating mandate for a proposal for Data Management Act aimed at establishing robust mechanisms to facilitate the reuse of certain categories of protected public sector data, increase trust in data transmission services and promote data altruism across the EU. The Data Management Act is part of a broader policy to give the European Union a competitive advantage in an increasingly data-driven economy. The Data Management Act will establish a mechanism to allow the safe reuse of certain categories of public sector data that are subject to the rights of others. This includes, for example, data protected by intellectual property rights, trade secrets and personal data. Public sector bodies that allow such reuse will need to have the technical equipment to ensure that the privacy and confidentiality of the data is fully maintained. In this respect, the Data Management Act will complement the 2019 Open Data Directive, which does not cover such data types. In order to avoid creating costly obligations for the public sector, the Council's position introduces more flexibility in the text while taking into account the national specificities that already exist in some member states. Creating a new business model for data transmission might come up in your head there. Because the proposal establishes a framework for promoting a new business model that means data transmission services to provide a secure environment to assist businesses or individuals in sharing data. For businesses, these services could take the form of digital platforms that support voluntary data sharing between companies or facilitate statutory data sharing obligations. By using these services, companies will be able to share their data without fear of abuse or loss of competitive advantage. As regards personal data, such providers would assist individuals in exercising their rights under the General Data Protection Regulation, the famous GDPR. This would help people to have complete control over their data and allow them to share their data with a the company they trust. This could be achieved, for example, with new personal data management tools, such as personal data spaces or data wallets, which are applications that provide data to others on the basis of consent. Providers of data transmission services should be listed in the register so that their customers know that they can rely on them. Service providers would not be allowed to use the data shared for other purposes. They would not be able to benefit from the data, for example, by reselling it. However, they may charge a fee for transactions. In its position, the Council clarified the scope of these provisions, in particular in order to clarify which types of companies can be data intermediaries. The proposal also makes it easier for individuals and businesses to make data available voluntarily for the common good, for example for a specific research project. Entities wishing to collect data for general interest purposes based on data altruism may apply for entry in the National Register of Recognized Data Altruism Organizations. Registered organizations will be recognized throughout the EU. This will create the necessary confidence in data altruism and encourage individuals and companies to donate data to such organizations so that they can use it for wider societal benefits. Compliance with the Code of Conduct has been included in the Council text as a condition for registration as a recognized data altruism organization. These codes of conduct should be developed in cooperation with data altruism organizations and relevant stakeholders and should be adopted by the Commission through implementing acts. A new structure, the European Data Innovation Committee, will be set up to advise and assist the Commission 
in strengthening the interoperability of data transmission services and ensuring consistent practice in processing public sector data requests. The Council has included some improvements in the tasks and structure of the committee concerned. The proposal introduces safeguards to protect public sector data, data transmission services and data altruism organizations from illegal international transfer or government access to non-personal data. The EU already applies similar safeguards to personal data under the General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR. The main change introduced by the Council in this regard is that the Commission may, by means of an implementing act, adopt model contractual clauses in support of public sector bodies and reuses in the event of the transfer of public sector data to third countries. According to the Council text, the new rules will apply 18 months after the entry into force of the regulation instead of 12 months as proposed by the Commission. The mandate was approved by the ambassadors to the EU who meet in the Committee of Permanent Representatives of the Council, the so-called CoREPA. This will allow the Council Presidency to start negotiations with the European Parliament. The final text will have to be agreed between the Council and the European Parliament. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.